published, 1010 EDT, the 17th of April 2018, updated, 1357 EDT, the 17th of April 2018 the Twitter website and app went down in a shock outage this afternoon. According to reports from around the world, users attempting to access the platform were shown an error message that read something is technically wrong apostrophe dot since Twitter's services return to normal, users have posted a series of hilarious tweets, with one writing, I actually, sick, got work done. Never been so scared in my life. Issues began around since 3 p.m. BST, 11 a.m. ET but just over half an hour later all services were restored. Scroll down for video users across the UK, especially over London and the South East, were affected by the outage, US Twitter users, mainly on the eastern seaboard around New York, are also suffering without the service since Twitter's services returned to normal, users have posted a series of hilarious tweets, with one writing, I actual, sick, got work done. Never been so scared in my life more than 5,000 people reported issues with the service to the site down detector, which tracks internet service outages, with problems mostly affecting users in the UK, Japan and the US East Coast. The error message read, something is technically wrong. Thanks for noticing, we're going to fix it up and have things back to normal soon. Day 2 on the outage suggested a range of different devices were affected including the Android app, the desktop website, and the Apple iPad app. Strangely Twitter's official website TweetDeck, which allows users to control several accounts at once, ran normally throughout the outage. In response to the issues, Twitter released a statement via its official account, but stopped short of revealing what triggered the problems. The statement read, Some users may have experienced problems sending and viewing tweets earlier today. This issue is now resolved. The vicious circle associated with Twitter going down meant people were not satisfied until they could moan about Twitter going down, on Twitter after going back live. The site has exploded with a series of hilarious responses to the half-hour outage Twitter was filled with an influx of ironic and humorous comments following the outage, with one claiming his child had reached the age of seven, unbeknown to him now that Twitter's app and website are pack up. Users have flooded back to the platform to bemoan the outage. At Colology wrote, Twitter was down for an hour. It was awful. I got actual work done. Never been so scared in my life. One user tweeted, Hashtag Twitter down we're back to the stone age. As frequent users of the site struggled to load any posts. Another remarked that without the site, he was able to check on his children. Twitter user Dad in the Raw said, I took advantage to check up on my children. To my surprise my oldest is now seven. Where did the time ago? Without Twitter, some people believe that the world went back to the Stone Age as the ever-reliable social media site crashed in various locations around the world. Twitter users were greeted with a message telling them that the app is down and something is technically wrong. Data on the outage suggested a range of different devices were affected, including the Android app, iPhone app, pictured, the desktop website, and the Apple iPad app users took to various social media sites to complain about the outage. More than 5,000 people reported issues with the service to the site down detector, which tracks internet outages since the website and app have returned to full function users have taken to the social media site to joke about their experiences as well as the UK and the US. Hundreds of reports flooded in of Twitter being down in Japan with the site that most people go to in order to complain down. Users used photo sharing app Instagram to bemoan the Twitter outage. The service experienced similar issues last May when the website's search function and hashtag features went down for almost six hours. Problems started at around 6.18 a.m. BST, 1.18 a.m. ET, but most were sorted by around 1 p.m. BST, 8 a.m. ET. Some reported that the website and app went out completely while those who could access the services posted about their frustrations. Without an explanation as to what caused the Twitter downfall, users were left to speculate as to the cause of the crash on Facebook. Reddit users posted and discussed the outage of one of the world's most popular social media sites, 
Twitter confusion reigned as Twitter users struggled to load the app, as unknown issues plague the social media platform graphic violence and adult content the company does not allow people to post graphic violence. This could be any form of gory media related to death, serious injury, violence, or surgical procedures. Adult content, that includes media that is pornographic and or may be intended to cause sexual arousal, is also banned. Some form of graphic violence and adult content is allowed in tweets marked as containing sensitive media. However, these images are not allowed in profile or header images. Twitter may sometimes require users to remove excessively graphic violence out of respect for the deceased and their families. Unlawful use the platform is not allowed to be used to further illegal activities. Badges users are not allowed to use badges, including but not limited to the promoted or verified Twitter badges, unless provided by Twitter. Accounts using unauthorized badges as part of their profile photos, header photos, display names, or in any way that falsely implies affiliation with Twitter or authorization from Twitter to display these badges, may be suspended. Usernames Users may not buy or sell Twitter usernames. Username squatting. When people take the name of a trademark company or a celebrity, is not allowed. Twitter also has the right to remove accounts that are inactive for more than six months. Abusive behavior context matters when evaluating for abusive behavior and determining appropriate enforcement actions. Factors we may take into consideration include whether the behavior is targeted at an individual, the report has been filed by the target of the abuse or a bystander or the behavior is newsworthy and in the legitimate public interest. Users may not make specific threats of violence or wish for the serious physical harm, death, or disease of an individual or group of people. This includes, but is not limited to, threatening or promoting terrorism. Users may not promote or encourage suicide or self-harm. Users may not promote child sexual exploitation. Users may not direct abuse at someone by sending unwanted sexual content, objectifying them in a sexually explicit manner, or otherwise engaging in sexual misconduct. Users may not use hateful images or symbols in your profile image or profile header. Private information users may not publish or post other people's private information without their express authorization and permission. Users may not post or share intimate photos or videos of someone that were produced or distributed without their consent. Users may not threaten to expose someone's private information or intimate media. Source, Twitter.